Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we want to show you how you can combine US Master together with Autobox to create for very large projects in a professional way auto mosaics. First, we will run for the whole project the surface generation using from US Master. using from US Master the surface generation. In this case, the process was already done and we created for the whole project the dataset. To make, to make the data easier for handling, you can export the data into a tile structure, which we will do, and we will split this data set here for in different multiple LAS files. The tile dimensions here shows us the complete project and we can here define our own tile sizes. For this example here I will just run it here on 80 by 80 just to get here nine tiles but of course you can choose here a different tile size from yourself. After your data is exported, we will additionally now export the project itself. So we close this US edit part and we will start from the project part here to export it into an info aerial frame project. We call it here Autobox Split Project. Then we can close US Applications Master and open from the Autobox the Applications Master. Here we open the generated project file. We select the new generated project file. We are informed that we don't have four specific parameters sets, but we will still continue without having information about them. In the Applications Master, we first need to convert our last tiles into DTM tiles. We can do this with the function DTM Toolkit. In Capture DTM Toolkit, we can start the process of the conversion of the last files into DTMs. This can be done with the point vector data processing, where we will do a surface modeling. We say Next, and we add from our export the TPIX shape file that is generated during the export in US Master. We see here our nine tiles continue and automatically for each last file we will generate a DTM. We could consider break lines if we want. We will select all our tiles by dragging all over them or we can also select here to select all automatically. And we will need to define our grid size for our terrain model for this part. In case you used in US Master Edit the functions to classify points into ground points and not ground points, we could here now define only to use the ground points for the interpolation of our terrain model. All points in the layer ground would then be considered. Additionally, synthetic ground would also be able to be uh, considered with consider full points. In our example here, we did not classify the points, so I can use also all points and then all my data in the last files will be used for our terrain model. For smaller gaps in your project, you can also fill the gaps automatically and say that you want to search for gaps with a specific distance in your data and then interpolate through the gap automatically the terrain. 
For this example, I will just use the standard settings and continue and say next and start to run the DTM generation. After it's finished, I will continue the video. The process is done. We can close the DTM toolkit and now we are able to run AutoMaster. We can start imaging AutoMaster and now we can import these terrain models through data import height model style manager. We select here the shape file, open it and then we say it's in metric and then we have a terrain model underlying to our aerial images. In this video I will only show a standard procedure and not go into all into features that exist for AutoMaster and AutoVista. Mainly with the focus to show how we can tile at the end in AutoVista the data into mosaics. So we will generate for each auto photo an auto area where we decide how much they will overlap to each other. Each of the blue lines is part of one of the auto photos. With the high overlap this is very usable to be done because we will then use from the whole aerial image only the center part. This blue area here will be our auto photo generated from this aerial image. And from the next aerial image again a small center part will only be used. They still overlap to each other so we will have enough coverage to generate a nice mosaic. The advantage is that our terrain model does not need to have the high precision and also we will not have much occlusion in the day. Except of course for the final images at the border. Then we start to process the auto photos where we define our pixel size. In case you're not sure what pixel size is possible, you can select your original scale, go back to define pixel size and you see the data can handle up to 2.15 or 2.2 cm ground sample distance. For my example I will only generate here 5 cm to have a faster processing. I will generate here GeoTIFF and TIFF world file and then I will output my data into a new folder called Auto Photos. I keep the remaining settings for the processing and start the process now and after it's finished I will show how to continue. The processing is finished and when we take a look at our output re, um, folder. We can see now here for each aerial image an auto photo. Additionally we also have here at um, a new folder called mosaic and in this meta folder we also have some region informations. We will use these auto photos now in auto vista. So therefore we can here close auto master and then we can go to our software AutoVista here. In AutoVista we can here import now a folder and here we will import a folder Auto Photos. We will see that we have here the TIFF, GeoTIFF and TIFF world files and therefore this message comes, look there are uh, here some redundant data but this is fine for us. In the project dialog we have now the option with the tiles that to regenerate a tile definition and here we can now split our area into multiple tiles. And this is what we do here, we will say split tiling and we save this file. We need to define a reference point, I will use here the lower left corner by clicking here into this user interface. Generating this coordinate here we can here of course also reduce it to a standard value so I will use here 0 and 0 and then I will create now a tile size and I will create here the tile size of uh, 100 by 100 and when I apply we see now the size of the tile I will not make it to the south but I will make it to the north and then we see we need to generate here 3 to the north and 3 to the east in this case here. Then we can also add here 
names yeah. if we are not wanting to have these automatic names then we can here also define names by using the coordinates I can say the X coordinate then adding a text information where I say underscore and then I add the Y coordinate and then we have here the X and Y coordinate here is it in this case then uh, the values then I say OK applied and then we have here now the coordinate names for these tiles and for each tile will become an own mosaic here so we can say OK select the tiles activate them close this part here start the processing define an output for these nine tiles can select the mosaic already predefined. I will now here say split it mosaics. So just let me see here that they are generated here. I will here not go into the functions. I will just use the standard settings that exist here, say close and process. And after it's done, I will show you the final result. So after the process is finished, we can now see here in the split mosaics, we have now here these uh, nine mosaic files here, in this case here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mosaic files. And um, we, there are many more functionalities we offer scene line editing, radiometric correction of the images, manual adaption of the radiometric correction and uh, many more functions which you can easily then also check up uh, on our brochures or also from the sales department. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video tutorial and I hope this will help you to see the professional tools from Info for Automosaking. Goodbye!